Hello. Hey, stand up, Sam. Hi, how are you? Good, man. You're live on Podcast and Chill. Sol Pinduka is hey, here. Ghost Lady is here, man. You good? Yo, what's up, man? Why are you always calling me at the wrong time? Why? What's going on now? Are you, are you motivating another school? Ah. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing the paper. How about that? Hey. Okay. Uh, so, listen, how did that gig come about? Like, what did you say to the kids? How did that come about? Um. So, I realized... Okay, I, I'm just going to have two minutes, okay? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, so I realized that more than anything, more than the drama, a lot of people really look up to me because of the strength that I have. So I have my my grandmother who is a teacher, an English teacher. <clears throat> hold on, the great hold on, Sian. Hold on, Sian. Okay, okay. We're at the part where a lot of people look up to you. You realize that, and then no, that's slag, slag. Don't convince yourself with the last. Listen, and then you understand. Yeah, after. yeah, that's what we want to do. Then, yeah. Yes. So uh, I realize that a lot of people see my strength because of overcoming everything. So how this. Uh, whole school talk came about was through my grandmother because my grandmother is a teacher and she was just telling me that um, there were a lot of essays there, there were a lot of uh, things that uh, the kids have to do which had to do with essays too so most of them were writing essays about uh, their favorite artists or their favorite like inspiration or whoever they really look up to and why they look up to them so she found one specific child, not a lot one specific child that had said that um, she looks up to me because of my strength and she wishes that, you know, I could make like a parent and see how uh, her teens and uh, people her age group also look up to me. So then I was like, okay, if it's like this, then it would be a great thing for me to actually see other schools and see if like the kids love me and all that. And that's exactly what I did. And the motivation that I had the kids was, was pushing them to make sure that they finish with school and you know like stay strong with all the trials and tribulations that are gonna come and yeah that was just about it so Cyan, are you telling me when you go at night when you go to sleep at night you really think there's kids that look up to you when i what when you go to sleep at night do you really think there's people that look up to you when i go to where to sleep, sleep at night before you sleep you like yo there's people that are looking after me up to me. 100% with no doubt. And nobody's ever going to make me feel otherwise because I feel the love. I see the love. I got to witness it. Maybe you guys were trying to make a joke about me going to the schools, whatever. But actually, I witnessed it myself. I got to see how kids love me. If you can see a child crying over seeing Cyan Buji, that means that, you know what, they actually look up to me. They wow. see the greatness that I have, the strength that I have. And maybe they just wish that they could be the same way as I am. Cyan, so at what point then the how do you get to twerk then? Like, because we saw that a video is... of you twerking on stage. How did that come about? So, um, it's, it's school bashes, right? So, for this high school kids, they're having school bashes. And I think a specific grade, maybe matrix or whatever. Um, so, obviously, at a bash, they expect uh, artists to come. So, we had a lineup. It wasn't just me coming to give motivation. But it was a lineup. We had Soweto Finest. We had all the other people that had to come and dance. And yeah, I was also part of that. But unfortunately, because I'm the bigger brand, I had to stand for what everyone else did. The bigger so that brand. Is the consequence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, shout out to you, Sayan. Thank you. 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 Th